Hey everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. So last time around, uh, we had some fun in the hangar. Uh, we met Meryl. Yay! Uh, we failed one of our critical mission objectives. Boo! And uh, we got a cameo by uh, Psycho Mantis. Wasn't that fun. Uh, we got a level 1 key card now, though, and we gotta go find the arms tech president. So I think we just use the elevator and go down to the next floor. We also, uh, we can't forget about, I almost forgot, that Johnny. There you go, Johnny. Oh, right in the gooch. Okay. He didn't need that, but, you know, it better he not wake up. Like, he, he'll retain more body heat while he's asleep? I don't know, but it's Alaska and he's naked. We really should have thrown a towel on him or a blanket or something, you know? But, uh, fuck it, right? <laughs> Um, let's take a look here. The armory. Is this room the one room that has all the little rooms in it? It is. And I think it also has trap doors. Uh, can I... Can I see? It does. Okay. It has trap doors, and is that just a light? Okay, it's just a light. I thought it might be a vent. So, I don't know why it has trap doors. That's such a weird design choice for a nuclear base. But some of these rooms we can get into. Not this one. Uh, this one. Here we go. I don't think any of these are booby trapped. No. I like. I know there's. I know there's rooms that like absolutely are 100% booby trapped, with, like a laser, and you go in and you just get blown up. I don't remember if it's this game though, or one of the other Metal Gear Solids. But I remember it's just little rooms like this. So, uh, let's see. This room? Nope. Okay. And no booby trap floor down here. Now, of course, if there were bad guys walking around, they wouldn't trigger the booby traps. No. So calm. So calm. And so calm. Mm. Well, that's useful. Grenade. Grenade. All right, we got grenades. Uh, I know what we have to do, but I want to check and see what is... Master? No, he talks about... Flora and fauna, right? Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. After if your things guns, are getting of too complicated, try Don't try to simplify shooting anyone your with your brain. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Campbell, got it, because you're useless. <laughs> what does Campbell recommend we do here? The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Look cemented wall. over walls slightly different. First person view. C4 explosives. Now, I think it's... Yep, right here. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without screwing myself. Um... Well, it's a cute little piece of C4, isn't it? Is it this? There we go. Armory South. Man, it would have been so much easier if we just had a key for that door that we uh, passed by. Now, again, I think we've got another bomb wall. Right here? No. It's... Actually... Oh, come on, get off the... Snake! Snake! Here we go. Right here. And... Oh, another hallway. <laughs> it's it's nice that they made so much space between the rooms. I don't know why... Oh, there's two. I don't know why we would need... Uh... Oh, that's a level 5 door. I don't think I'm supposed to go in there yet. That's like almost all of my C4. Is this the... Oh, there he is. He looks like he got caught by Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need that. Ready for everyone's favorite old guy? Am I too late? 
definitely too late to save him from wearing that jacket without his arms in the sleeve. Oh! He's alive. Not for long if he's coughing up blood. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Where did his Don't eyes worry. go? I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! It's very sticky. C4. Well, <laughs> I guess that explains why we just found some lying around. I wish I could backflip like that. What was... What just fell? What was that? Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. It's true. Were you just hanging out in that corner the whole time and I didn't see you? That was rude of me. I apologize. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. Revolver. You've got one. I can see that. Ocelot. Really just jerking yourself off there, aren't you, Ocelot? I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. I mean, I don't know, probably I'm a legend for a reason. Should we be shooting with all these explosives, though? Are we not to? This is the greatest handgun ever made. Shoot. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything. Did you just waste moves. five of them? <laughs> okay, well, this one holds like 15 at a time, so... Now I'll show you why they Snake's call me being awfully uh, accommodating here. <laughs> so do we, you want to go out in the hallway? There's enough room for 20 paces. Draw. Here's the difference, though. I've got first-person view, Ocelot. So yeah, this fight uh, normally would be really freaking difficult. Uh, we gotta be careful though, because we can, you. like, reflect the shots. However, I can just much. drink him in the face! <sighs> See? Bounce in the wall! Shots off the wall, you little shit! There we go. But I do get to see, uh, when he gets to... Or when he needs to reload. Which I guess would make sense. Snake's counting the shots, right? So... Hmm... You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code. And as you're the boss. probably pretty numb by now. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. <sighs> oh, I forgot about this. What? He's not surprised My there hand. now. His heart beats really slowly, but really powerful. Oh, that just Yeah, I... Didn't they say if you touch one... Oh. 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 I mean, get a little pat on the back not that big of a concern when it, there's, you know, an arm missing. Translucent man. Aw, shit. Stealth camouflage. It's some kind of robot samurai. Can 
Can't you even die right? Some familiarity you there. Were lucky. Ocelot? We'll meet again. What do you mean I was lucky? You got six trank darts to the face. Who are you? You just hear like the windows chime. <laughs> I like you. I have no name. Call me Steve. <laughs> That... that exoskeleton. More of a skin type suit, really, but... Oh! Apparently, exoskeletons is triggering. You know, a sword that can cut through anything is kind of bullshit when I've only got a gun and you're fast enough to shoot bullets out of the air. <laughs> the squealing tire noise. Bye! in the fights in these games is always really good. I'll give them that much. As weird as some of the Metal Gear Solid games get. Like, anytime you give somebody a sword, and they're even slightly ninja-like, you're in for an awesome fight. See, now that was just... He didn't need to cut those extra things on his way out. That's just him being a dick. I didn't shit my pants, I swear. Don't talk. Who are you? I'm not one of them. Uh. I'm part of the mullet brigade. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. Uh, I, Seriously, you're I, dying. I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He so good you. for you. You just folded you like it? a paper towel after that? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Yeah, I got him, so I'd stop looking at porn solution. all the time. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief but, said Mantis yeah. got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, it was before he started freaking yeah. out and biting off his own tongue, anyway, so... how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Things they did to my nipples. Uh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not it's human. Raw. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even He now. was determined His to was make the elbow off. touch the nip. And he uh, did it, damn it! <laughs> so, the... The DARPA chief... Is he okay? Dead. What? Like, extra dead. It, Weird, it violently be. dead. No, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Uh, I'm not Jim. Calm down. And your uh, hits are feeble. What's wrong with you? I just told you man I was like, here to save you. Get it together, old man. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, there must have been a stroke. The terrorists have both codes now. Oh, 
Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. Those I dirty agree. Terries. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm maybe they're just sick of being under the heel today. of the dairy industry. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. From no, the dead guy, you know. Not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that 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 woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Oh, prison. Meryl. Okay. That female soldier. Yeah, she ran she off with Psycho Mantis. She had just joined up as a new recruit. They they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she. You know, is. yeah, she did a really good she's job of really getting out of her cell all on her own. Come. Like she could have at but any point you know almost. Escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec until I was tied up here. That is. Codec. So yes. all the genome soldiers the that were guard. fighting. If she still has it, you like, should were be they, able to contact They're clearly her. not Foxhound. I'm sure she has it. What frequency uh, was she at? They're the special foreign stuff. Were they just the, the soldiers at the base? Then I've never oh, I've never yeah. been clear on that. I assume they're just the soldiers let, at the let base. Let me tell you, it's, it's... Although, why they decided to go along with this all of a sudden. Huh? Oh, what is... Was there something sorry. going on over there? I forgot. What? Damn! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he gets oh, so angry. Right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. The back of the package. Oh shit! I forgot about that. I'll contact her right away. You're fucked but if you rented me, this. This doesn't work. Is <laughs> Although I think the internet. Yeah, the internet was the uh, prevalent launch. enough when this came out. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's and anyone by a little who can bit, figure I mean, out how to stop Metal Gear weeb. from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's it's so weird hearing them call him somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's it's north from here. That's where he worked. This is Alaska. There's nothing north of here. You're lying, old man. But why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't nuclear disappeared. Nuclear power is forever. The threat is more real than ever before. Ooh, real cutscene? Like with the all, real footage? The amount of spent yeah. nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums either, of though. nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. That's true. So they just close Terrifyingly the lid enough, they and just try keep to pretend like it it'll go away. All in buildings uh, are buried yes. underground, and and they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Or in a mountain. In Many some cases. of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that. Several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for muff. material oh, I love for. muff. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. Not until we figure out to a way to shoot all this into space with some kind of, of giant rocket anyways. We need a weapon of overwhelming power. 
You mean Metal Gear. Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And yeah, no if you keep it off the books, you. then there's no Not tape to worry about. Bunch on the military oversight committee. Just wait until someone steals it and invades a major city. Bribes. Just call it the military industrial complex. All right, anyway, old man, don't get preachy. Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Man, yes, imagine that if I this hadn't happened and there was just like a game you. that had a bunch of Metal Gear Here. Rexes in this the This is what military. you came for, right? A floppy disk? No. What's that? An optical disk. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of you data? You couldn't get like a flash all drive the data collected from this exercise. Don't play I don't even dumb. know where to find a reader for this. I I'm know you find, were like, sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic you know how hard it is to find a radio shack me. now? They don't know this dis exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Where are you hiding all these things, old man? You've been hiding them in your old man folds, walk? haven't you? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They got they my don't nips. want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? Yeah, that was the Fox flippy Hound's guy with dark the sword. Little secret. Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> Ew. You know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. You seem finished what? anyways. Also, Doesn't really Metal not Gear my problem. Use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Uh -oh. Oh, 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 God, he's going Hulk. Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? Nothing. You got tortured by somebody else, but... No. It can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So they, they, they actually went and did it. What? Can we stop getting this crotch shot, please? What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for... for or um, was it a heart attack now, old man? What the hell? His nipples just couldn't take the strain any longer. Rest in peace, you old pervert. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. Isn't that but we won't table be able salt? To tell no, without that's doing an sodium autopsy. chloride. Damn. Never mind. Snake, <laughs> I want you and Meryl to work together. Although enough can salt will... Her? Yeah, you'll get... More than you can heart, trust Heart me. problems with that, so... Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. 
Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? I'm holding myself. A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake. Yes, I said that's coming right. on you. Okay. Um, well, all of that's down. Let's see. Can I grab you? Nope. Don't waste the ammo. Okay, I have a uh, jam signal. That's not good. But I can get through that door. I could. Oop. Ammo. So I'm both full. Of course it is. Where's, uh, can I find, <laughs> hey, can I find, uh, Ocelot's hand anywhere? That'd be funny. No? Oh, bummer. Okay. Back to the armory, and I think there's guys in here now. Yes, indeedly do. Come on, fall. There we go. Oh, that is the perfect spot for you too, dude. Come on. I think there's a, uh, I remember there is a locker in here. Just one. Nope. Shit, well. Oh, jeez. No, ration shit. We gotta find that other guy. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Perfect. All right, come on. Come on. Come on with me. So we can get in through the level two doors now. This one had lockers, yes? Yes. So where is a, actually, you know what? I should save. You said, oh, I've already forgot where we're supposed to go. <laughs> you called Snake? Yeah, we should save. Um, I think I could get through that pretty quickly, but it would take time to replay all of that, and I really don't want to do that. If I did die, so. Snake, in China they say you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man of No, I had thought first. she talked Use about movies a lot, but maybe that wasn't this game. Maybe that's the radio enemy. operator in the one of the other ones. Campbell, I forgot where I'm going. <laughs> the DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. Hopefully he's as pretty as she In is. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written That's in the That's right. Of the I got to get the package. Hold on. So yeah, when this originally came out, uh, I know there were people who would rent it on place or for PlayStation. And uh you know, you wouldn't get to bring home the box, right? If you rented it. So you wouldn't be able to look at the back and see that little picture right there with Meryl's uh, code. 140.15. No, I want Toon! Toon! Oh, no response. Come on. Who are you? 
I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? What do you mean it's not me? I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? Oh, you old know and fat. Uncle? We go way back. <laughs> What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's no, I'm what Soft people Snake. Called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Oh my! I saw you about before. <laughs> oh I wasn't sure my. if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. That green My just eyes? does everything for your eyes, I want eyes. you to know. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Jesus Christ, That's what I'd expect from the legendary <laughs> Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Except for, my, except that. for my dick. That's, Why did you that's look so surprised when you everything saw you've my heard face? Is true. Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no, no family. <laughs> so what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, Maybe I'll write him. I want some information. A cordial correspondence. You were involved in this and inquire that way beginning. instead. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just. And why like would a colonel's niece go to Alaska? Told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base. Uh, right. So for the development of Metal Gear. These aren't even soldiers we're fighting then. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Fox? You mean it was just scientists because before this? Their special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, the terrorists want I'm cheese. Not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? That can't heart have attack. been comfortable. <laughs> Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yeah. Kojima? He should be in the <laughs> research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. Yeah. That's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. You know, the program he's been working on this whole time. It's done anyway. Not being forced to. We better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? Wouldn't it be, the first, be time. the first time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> how do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, Can, I've got how many things do you have stored up inside you? you? Go to the... I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide Ah, because of the codec, everything's green. green. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> you pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. Maybe it's because I sensed I never you were had any a legend. Problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I These always ones shoot dreamed back. of being a soldier. 
every day of my life. I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Excuse me. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst Ow. emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a Traits like nano is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream <laughs> is starting to thin out. What the just hell? Just take it easy. But Stop I learned sneezing, all about combat high at the academy. God, the whole, you're gonna wake we'll up the whole facility. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. <laughs> if I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Why? Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. I'm trying to watch a cutscene. <laughs> okay, Snake. Oh. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen. I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. All right, I'm gonna go find some Kleenex. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I don't know what that was about. All right, well, I think that's... <laughs> I think the sneezing has stopped. So let's get on with the game, shall we? We have to go north, huh? And I don't think there was a level 2 door in uh, first basement level, right? Uh oh, that's not good. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. <clears throat> Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. Oh, you won't be for long with the way you. So walk. I should be careful about who what I shoot, or I should mean? shoot everyone still. Uh, nothing. <coughs> Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage yeah, building. Yeah, but how do I solve the Wait. gas? You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These you gotta do some soldiering. Professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Oh, I'm gonna spank her so hard. Okay, that's not good. Go down, please. There we go. Oh, there's guys upstairs too, okay. Uh, what about the door up there? I don't remember if that was a... Right in the knee. Shit. Right in the face. Okay. Cameras are back up and functional again, it looks like. Can I hit this thing correctly this time? Shit. Damn it. <laughs> so there's gas in there, huh? How do I deal with the gas, Meryl, while I wait for these guys to... The cargo door's open already. If you exit there and go north, you'll get to the Warhead storage building where Dr. Emmerich is being held. I'll head there now and wait for you. Hurry after me, okay? 
Right, is the is the gas not a concern? Whoop. Are they gonna wake up the other guy? Yep. Just imagining things. Just imagine. That's called dreaming, you asshole. Wake up. Oh, that sneezing made my throat all scratchy. Oh god, I did get the COVID vaccine today. Hopefully that's not a side effect of that. I don't think it is. It's not one of the ones I was told about, but if I end up sneezing a lot for the next couple days, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Am I free? Like, oh, can I just... Come on. I should have just gone through the door. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna... While I'm stuck under here, we're just gonna save... Uh, we're gonna call the episode here. And then I will deal with... Because um, I want to see... I don't remember if the that room upstairs is a level 2 door or not. And I want to check it out. So I'll figure that out between episodes. And then we'll pick up at that point. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will catch you on the flip-flop.